Christ, it's always a joy to bring the word of the Lord to you at uh, such a time as this. Today I want us to look at the book of Jeremiah, Jeremiah chapter 15. I'm going to read only one verse, verse 16. Jeremiah chapter 15, I'm going to read verse 16. This is what the Bible says. Jeremiah 15, verse 16. Your words were found, and I ate them. And your word was to me the joy and rejoicing of my heart. For I am called to your name, O Lord God of hosts. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you and we bless you because of your word. Your word, Lord, is alive and active. And Lord, I pray that you are going to connect me with my hearers. Thank you, Lord, in advance because of what you are going to do. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to share what I'm calling eating God's word. Eating God's word. Eating God's word. Today, like never before, the slogan is, Ka nyumbani. Stay at home. The whole world is being faced by a new term called lockdown. Others who have come from overseas or most affected nations by coronavirus have been told to self-quarantine themselves or be forced to quarantine. The key issue now is, what will I eat? What will my family eat? If I stop working, will the government feed me? Everybody is scrambling on how they can feed their physical bodies. But my question today is, what about the spiritual person? What about him? God, through Jeremiah, who was also in the midst of being misunderstood and persecution, is calling us to eat his word. Jeremiah discovered the nourishment of God's word at such a time as this. When we are going through this particular situation that we are in, it is important to rediscover the nourishment we can get from God's word. I want to repeat again what Jeremiah said in the midst of being misunderstood, in the midst of persecution. Look at what Jeremiah said when he realized that God could not be able to visit him. When he realized that God could not be able to take vengeance for the people who are persecuting him. Jeremiah said this. He penned down the following words. Thy words were found. And I did it to them. And thy word was unto me the joy and the rejoicing of my heart. Are you enjoying that kind of experience? Whether you are in quarantine, whether it is safe or forced, or whether the government has given you a lockdown, or whether we are under curfew. What are you enjoying right now? Like Jeremiah, we need to come to a point whereby we realize that the greatest nourishment we can get is from God's word personally. Jeremiah's experience should help you and me in this time. How does Jeremiah go about it? He goes about it this way. Number one, he says, thy words were found. What I see there is personal discovery. Jeremiah realized that he must have personal discovery in the word of God. God, recall, provided manna or miracle food for Israel 
on in their pilgrimage journey through the wilderness. Unfailingly, day by day, the manna fell from heaven to supply the needs of more than two million people. God could have caused this food to drop outside each tent door. Like a delivery service of sliced and wrapped bread, but he didn't. He said, go out and gather a certain amount each day. He scattered it far and wide around the camp. Evidently, God wanted his people to experience the daily joy of finding their own food. So it will be with us at such a time as this. God wants us to go back to his word. God does not want us to be bored. God does not want us to be bogged down by what the newscasters are telling us. God wants us to find our joy in his word. And this is the time to discover that. For instance, when we get really concerned about knowing and doing God's will in our lives, we shall find ourselves searching for God's word until they light us up. Brothers and sisters, if we don't have a personal discovery, our lives will be full of darkness. Our lives will be helpless. We shall despair in these times. But I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, you can discover God's word. If you thought that you could discover God's word in the church, I am sorry for you because the church has been closed down. If you thought that you could discover God's word through his servants, I am sorry because his servants are no longer there. But the word of the Lord is near you. You can light up when you read the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord has always been there. But we didn't find the word because of the many things that had surrounded us. But God is telling us, I am taking you to a spiritual quarantine. And in this spiritual quarantine, you must find my word. In our quarantine today, my brothers and my sisters, God wants us to discover his word. We must have a personal discovery of his word. In Jeremiah's case, it was persecution that led him to the great discovery of God's word. But to us today, coronavirus should not push us away from the word of God, but rather it should push us towards the discovery of God's word. We must search and find God in his word. In these last days, God is speaking to us through his word. I want to beseech you in the name of Jesus. Have a personal discovery. The second thing, or the second P. Jeremiah had what I call personal digestion. The Bible says where we have read in Jeremiah 15 verse 16, your words were found. That was personal discovery. But the second part, part B, and I ate them. I did eat them. That is what I'm calling personal digestion. In imagination, sit down <laughs> before a plate almost covered with a steaming fried chicken, which is rare these days. It is cooked just as you want it. The aroma or smell has your taste buds, has your taste buds tingling. And you are hungry. So you thank God for his goodness and cut that fast, juicy mouthful. As you chew, your, 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 your palate is well pleased. Each bite releases more of the succulent fever. You can feel it 
doing you good. Yet something else is happening. While you are sinking your teeth into that juicy muscle, a gland is supplying saliva containing an enzyme that will speed up the chemical breakdown of the food. Now you swallow. That chewed up fragment is passed on to the stomach where strong muscles turn it round and round. Different enzymes help to process the assimilation. Long after you have forgotten the chicken, this marvelous digestion process continues reducing the food to its constituent elements. The thorough digestion of an ordinary meal, we are told, takes 24 hours before absorption takes place and the chemicals pass it into the blood. That is an analogy. Finding God's word is absolutely necessary. Why? But we must also chew them. We must chew the word of the Lord. Personal discovery is not enough. We must have personal digestion. In your current time, have personal digestion. Chew the card of the word of God. As we receive and ponder them with meekness, the Holy Spirit will be transforming the printed words into a living word. And the moment the Holy Spirit transforms the printed word into a living word, we start experiencing the joy of the Lord. No wonder Nehemiah said, the joy of the Lord is my strength. My brothers and my sisters, today, whatever was bringing me joy before is no longer bringing me joy. But the word of the Lord is. This process is what we call meditation or spiritual digestion. It is a nut that as the church or believers, we have lost. But I want to tell you, thank God because of coronavirus, that we can be able now to digest the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord, once digested, once we meditate upon it, and the Holy Spirit comes, then we'll be able to know what God is saying. Jesus Christ spoke and said, the flesh profiteth nothing, Whatever kind of food you'll have, I'm not saying it is bad to have food this time, is nothing compared to the word of the Lord. Jesus said, the words I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. The flesh profited nothing. But the word of the Lord, the word that you digest is spirit and is life. It is not out of place to have a notebook and a pencil at hand and to record creative thoughts that the Holy Spirit will delightfully bring to your mind when in quarantine. This is not the time to be sad. This is not the time to be disgusted. This is not the time to give up. This is not the time to be stressful. But this is the time to allow the Holy Spirit delightfully use the word in your life to bring joy and joy forevermore. God wants us to continue meditating or chewing the word of the Lord. God wants us to understand doctrine. God wants us to know what he's saying in these last days. If you chew the word of the Lord, if you digest the word of the Lord, you will understand what God is saying in these last days. He says this, the book of Psalm 11 verse 3. When the foundations are destroyed, what will the righteous do? Right now, all the foundations of the world have been destroyed. Economic towers have collapsed. Superpower countries have collapsed. 
the only thing that is going to stand is the word of the Lord. Because the word of the Lord is forever settled in heaven. Read it. Chew it. Think upon it. Let it roll in your mind. Digest it. And then you are going to have the joy that Jeremiah had. The third P is personal delight. Personal delight. Thy words were unto me the joy and the rejoicing of mine heart. Thy words were unto me the joy and the rejoicing of mine heart. God's words, by digestion and obedience, eventually became the word. Individual warnings, promises, and precepts at length become the principles of the word. This is how Christ the word became part of us. This is how we feed upon Christ. Restated, this is the secret of abiding. That is what Jesus Christ said in John chapter 6, verse 56. He, says, he said this, He that eateth my flesh and drinketh my blood dwelleth in me and I in him. Continually, we need to delight in the word of the Lord. My brother and my sister, you shall not delight in whatever is being said in the social media. You shall not delight in whatever the newspapers are saying. You shall not delight in whatever is going on around the world. But I dare you, read the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord will give you personal delight. And once the word of the Lord gives you personal delight, you will be able to say, like a singer said, because he lives, I can face tomorrow. So continually find God's word. Continually delight in the word of the Lord. Continually have the joy of discovery. Continually fellowship with the word that is with God. And when things become rough and tough. God will give you a rema word. And once God gives you a rema word, that word is going to sustain you in this time. My brothers and my sisters, those who are listening to me today, you need to eat the word of the Lord. You need to eat the word of the Lord. In conclusion, how do you answer these two questions? How do you answer these two questions? Question number one. Do I honestly search God's word personally? Do I honestly search God's word personally? I'm really amazed on how we are searching with a lot of dedication and deliberate. We are deliberate. On understanding the coronavirus, may the Lord help us that we can honestly search his word personally the way we are searching details on coronavirus. God wants us to search his word personally and honestly. The second question, am I personally hearing from God through his word? Right now, my brothers and my sisters, there are many things that we are hearing. But my Bible tells me this, faith cometh by hearing. Not hearing about corona. Not hearing about whatever things that are going on in the world. But hearing the word of the Lord. Hearing the word of the Lord. Hearing the word of the Lord. I want to encourage you by telling this, my brother, my sister, don't be among 
start starving millions. Find God's word. Eat it. Because God's word is better than the finest chicken or steak you will ever find in this world. Let's pray. Father, we are before you today. The Lord, our prayer is that we may be able to eat your word. So that your word, Lord, can have a place in our lives. So that, Lord, our inner man, the spiritual man, can be awakened. So that, Lord, the spiritual man can be delightful. Lord, I pray that you help us not to starve the spiritual man. I want to pray, Lord, even for them that are undergoing starvation because of not reading your word. Lord, I pray that you help them. Lord, even them that have not come to the knowledge of you as their Savior. Let this word, Lord, find a place in their hearts so that, Lord, they can come to the knowledge of you as their Savior. We thank you, Lord, and we bless you. In Jesus' name we pray and we believe. Amen. Nina Shanga Niki Lewa Wewe ni Zaidi Ya vile ni livyo ambi wachu yako Tena sauti yako Ya nizidia Sauti zote Ninazo sikia Nina Shanga Niki elewa Wewe ni zaidi Ya vile ni livyo ambi wachu yako Tena sauti yako Baba ya nizidia Sauti zote Ninazo sikia Yale umetenda baba Yote ni maku Mala waya tenda Kwa upendo Yale unasema baba Yote ni kweli Mala pia waya sema Kwa upendo Oh, yeah, Lee.